Okay, hi. So Allison asked if I could just put together a little video showing uh, the video setup that I have at home. And so this is it. And I thought what better way to do that than to do a video that I'm excited about, passionate about, do a topic that I'm passionate about, and that would be stacking oranges and apples. And uh, so you may have noticed at the supermarket um, that the bottom layer of, of fruit um, is uh, laid out in this sort of square grid like this. And then on top of that, they stack in another one like this and on top another one, uh, same kind of square grid, right? And so on until you get this nice little square based pyramid. And it's beautiful, isn't it? You see this nice triangular face looking at you like that. You just want to buy oranges and apples. Truthfully though, the reason that that's exciting to me is because it's actually this uh, face center cubic arrangement. Now you look at this little cube here and it's not obvious that it's the same thing I just showed you for the oranges and apples, um, but in fact it is. So looking at this neat little cube I've got here, you can see these little blue dots and those are atoms rather than apples. And if we look at this front face of the cube here, this face here, you can see there's one, two, three, uh, four atoms right in the corner positions and then there's this one in the center, in the face centered position. And so for that reason we call this face centered cubic. If you look at this, you may not see uh, immediately that that's the same arrangement, the stacking of, of atoms that I showed you a moment ago. I just want to show you um, that it in fact is. So I think the, the way to, to see it is remember this nice little triangular face that I showed you there. We're going to observe that same stacking. And I've got that stacking here in some atoms. I can stack them up um, as we did. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a little cube very much like this one that I showed you. Four corners, one in the very center of the face. It's hard to see in these, so what it is, I colored these in, in this contrasting color, in this blue, and hopefully you can see here the uh, atom falling apart. The one, two, three, four corners and the face centered. So there's the cube lying within these nice little planes uh, with that triangular arrangement that I showed you earlier. So anyway, you can see, hopefully, that atoms at the grocery store, or apples at the grocery store rather, are stacked up in the face center cubic arrangement. If I had to pick one crystal structure to be stranded on a desert island with, I think it would be face center cubic. So there you go, you've just seen a short little uh, example of the, how I like to do my videos. It works best for me. I like to look down the barrel at the students. Uh, I like to use my hands and I like to do little demos, right, so I can show things like this to the camera. And I also like to, to draw things. Over the years, I've tried different formats. Uh, I've kind of iterated towards this one that I think works well for me, for my style. Um, and I, I've tried to kind of put it together, synthesize it into one little succinct thing, and, and I came up with alpha because um, it rolled off the tongue. Uh, A-L-F-A. -A. Um, so that's audio, lighting, uh, format, an angle. Now truthfully I think that format is more important than lighting um, but alpha sounds better than afla and so alpha it, it is. Um, so audio um, uh, of all the elements of the video I think that people are least forgiving of bad audio and so it's really important to get uh, good quality um, audio. I'm using this little wireless lav mic um, that I had I had a few already um, so it's this little Sennheiser um, system. There's also uh, others this this one here, this kind of, you know, Alexander Hamilton style, right? Alexander Hamilton. So if you're moving around a lot, this is this is maybe a, a, a good option. I have also got um, another little lav mic. Now this one is just uh, inexpensive, $15 on Amazon, and that's going into this iPad here. So you know, look at the iPad and say, hey, how you doing? Right, uh, you can hear it's pretty good quality audio. I also have my iPhone. Uh, I've got just the standard uh, Apple earbuds and you know that gives pretty good quality audio too. The other audio that I, I, I'm capturing is from the Wacom tablet and so if we switch to that you can tell that's not very good and the worst audio is actually from the GoPro and it's really muffled. Uh, so make sure you're using good quality uh, audio <clears throat> lighting. Um, so having yourself well lit is important. Um, I'll just turn everything off Okay, there we go. And so uh, one by one, I'll turn these back on. So I've got this main light here, um, which uh, provides most of the light, uh, but it casts uh, some shadows, right? And so there's a fill light that I've got. Uh, I've got a little white backdrop behind me. Just like a little light source on that. I find it gives a nice kind of crisp look. Another light source that's quite popular is a, is a ring light. 
I've got that on my uh, iPhone here, and so if I turn that on, you can sort of see what that looks like. Uh, I find for me with my glasses, it gives some kind of unnatural um, reflections, and it makes it a little creepy, right? Now, if you're gifted with good eyesight, I suppose, and uh, you know, then it does. The ring light does give that beautiful little catch light that just brings you to life. So, um, if uh, if you want to play around with one of those, uh, again, really uh, pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Uh, delivered really. Not that I'm, you know advocating for uh, Amazon, but uh, just you, you can get them inexpensively from uh, some online source. So F for format, uh, I think it's probably one of the most important things after you nail down the audio. And uh, the format really just has to match your style, right? So over the years, I've tried a number of different uh, formats of the, my videos. Some of them worked, and many of them didn't. Many were horrible. Um, uh, but eventually I've iterated and got to the, this format that I'm using now that I think works well. It matches my sort of preparation style for lectures, my presentation style, and um, you know I, I, I can do them, I feel comfortable. Um, so I think really that's the most important thing that you find something you're comfortable with. If uh, another format works for you, voice over on a PowerPoint, um, you know, just talking to the camera, not looking at the camera, whatever it might be, uh, I think it's got to match your style. So try a few things and see what works. Uh, angle, last thing here. So over here on my iPad, uh, I've got it set down as you typically would on the table uh, or if you're working from your, your uh, webcam on your laptop. Um, it's this unflattering kind of look, you know, right? <laughs> Looking up, you don't, want, you don't want that. But the angle of the camera, um, I think, is important. So, the, you know, my main camera is at eye level. It's a, it's a comfortable position for me and it, it, uh, it looks fairly good for the viewer, I think, as well. Um, the last bit of angle, I suppose, could also be multiple angles, right? So I've got this main camera. I like to switch, switches up the, the interest a bit. I mean, I don't normally have the GoPro, the iPhone, this camera, and this camera, and this one uh, running. Usually I just have this one and this one. More than one, adding a second camera adds a bit of interest. Uh, just make sure you, you know exactly where you plan to look. So I, I like to look down the barrel like this, straight, and straight into the lens. Um, if I were to look over at this camera, for example, but still have this as the live camera, um, it looks looks kind of creepy, looks unnatural. I mean, you can tell I'm not looking at you, right? So just make sure you know where you're looking. Um, and that also comes up if you're looking at notes or something. If you, you're looking at a set of your notes, just make sure you do that consistently, right? So if, if I have my notes over here and I'm saying I'm talking to you like this, almost like an interview style, that's fine. The trouble is if you spike the camera like that, right? It, it, it's very jarring and it, it, it's, um, I don't know, upsetting. Uh, well, it, it just looks it looks a little unnatural, um, unpleasant. I, I thought I'd show you as well. You know, I'm showing a lot of equipment that I've got here, um, and but uh, I thought I'd show you a really basic sort of a setup that, that that would actually work quite well. That would be just this basic fifteen dollar um, plug-in mic, and you know you could you could record a bit of odd, uh, bit of talking to the students this way, and then switch over say to um, OneNote and do some drawing. So say I was teaching you guys as I was a moment ago about face center cubic. Uh, I like to just draw things often during lectures freehand. I think it, incur it ensures that I have a good pace to my lectures. I don't go too fast. And I think it's also encouraging to the students to see that they too can create these, um, these sketches. And um, you know, I'm not particularly artistic, but I can put this together. So there's the Adam, say for example, there's one in the face each of those exposed faces and then the hidden faces like this. Um, right, so there you go, I've done a little, little video. Now if I wanted to teach something else, um, like talk a little bit about the atoms themselves, I could switch to say an app that I might want to do a demo in. So here's some atoms zipping around and it's actually it's a neat, really neat little, little uh, simulation, uh, basic molecular dynamics simulation. If I drop the temperature right down, you can see them start to slow down and watch this you can start to see they come together and they form that beautiful little um, triangular kind of appearance or, or, or arrangement that I was so excited about earlier, right? Look at that. Same thing you see there. Uh, fantastic. So, uh, you know, just using the uh, the iPad, you could do a really successful little video, you know, without a huge investment, assuming you already have um, an iPad or, or uh, some other tablet. Um, last thing, we'll do a little uh, being John Malkovich uh, kind of thing. And... Um, uh, I'll, I'll show you my setup, okay? So here we go. There's the main camera. It's this digital SLR camera. It gives a uh, nice shallow depth of field. The downside to that, you got to carefully focus it and it doesn't autofocus for you. So if I move in too close, you can see it goes soft focus, goes out of focus. Same thing if you go um, to the wrong position. 
over here, this uh, Sony uh, video camera here. It's got a fairly big sensor, so it's got a little bit of shallow depth of field, but not as nice as the digi digital SLR. The good thing about the um, video camera is it will um, adjust focus. Um, it's designed to do that as you film. And what else do I have? I've got the main light, top right, main light, just a LED light that I purchased online. A little fill light over there, backlight behind me, Wacom tablet down here. The GoPro was sitting over there to the side. And I hope that was useful and interesting for you. If you've got some questions, don't, uh, don't hesitate to uh, contact me.